check of our weather. So we're going to talk about the weather locally momentarily because it's cold out there. You need to bundle up. That's kind of common sense stuff, but it bears repeating given how cold it is. We're going to start with some spectacular snow video, a couple of different videos that are spectacular for different reasons. We'll try to get <laughs> the video I was talking about earlier in just a second. We're having some behind the scenes difficulties this morning. You can watch us behind the scenes on Facebook Live, by the way. The other video is ready to go. Let's take a look at downtown Nashville first, and then we're going to switch sources and I'm going to be able to show you the video. We've been sharing a few times this morning, but honestly, you can't get enough of this. So this is video that I retweeted yesterday. It's been retweeted almost 30,000 times, and you're going to see why. Keep your eyes in the middle of the screen, and what looks like a little glitch in the video isn't a glitch. That is a puppy dog bounding through what looks to me like a good 18 to 24 inches of snow. I don't know specifically where the video came from. That is one happy pup. <laughs> Dagny watching very intensely. Let's rewind it and take a look again. Here we go. Dagny did this in the eight inches of snow we had last year. Obviously wasn't buried in it, but just that's just great. Like a little periscope on a sub just coming yeah. up for air every once in a while. And oh. the way the video ends, I just love <laughs> that just smile. Happy dog look. Hi. Click. I made it. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Precious. You can check out my Twitter profile while you're watching me on Facebook Live, I guess, and check out that video for yourself. And just watch it on an endless loop all day long. All right, let's talk about today's weather. It's cold out there this morning. Temperatures right now, they're in the upper teens and low 20s. 22 degrees right now in Nashville. 16, Murfreesboro, Tullahoma, McMinnville, 15 degrees right now in Livingston at 22 in Nashville. That's tied for the warm spot around the midstate. 22 as well in Lawrenceburg and Parsons and in Hopkinsville. But there's warmer weather out to our west. Not much. 31 degrees in Jackson is still below freezing, but we're going to be heading in the right direction as we head through the day. Temperatures by noon are going to be up in the mid 40s. Low 50s for highs this afternoon. You'll see that on the dog walking fur cast just in a moment. Let's check out future cast though and show you what's going to happen throughout the day. This cloud cover out to our west is slowly going to edge in our direction. A mix of clouds and sunshine this afternoon at worst, but the clouds are going to thicken this evening and overnight. That's good news because it helps us hold on to some of today's warmth and we're going to stay above freezing for overnight lows. Showers hanging out to our west by early tomorrow morning, but getting closer. I think we're going to be dry for the morning commute on Friday and then the showers move in. Looks like a lot of rain. It's going to be kind of off and on stuff. The atmosphere is pretty dry, so this first wave of rain, I think a lot of it's going to evaporate. Despite the clouds and rain showers throughout the day tomorrow, we're still going to make it up to the upper 50s for highs. It's a lot better than we were yesterday, and temperatures are still going to be in the 60s over the weekend. But the showers could give way to a few thunderstorms late tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. We're not talking about severe weather, just a few garden variety rumbles, and this stuff's out of here largely by early Saturday morning. So that 30% chance of a shower early Saturday, we're talking real early Saturday, probably before the sun comes up and then temperatures warm up as we clear out. We're going to make it up to the mid 60s till Saturday. Another chilly start Sunday morning, mid 30s, but that sounds awfully nice compared to the teens and 20s of this morning, and we'll climb back up to 60 degrees in the afternoon. Mid 70s for high temperatures on Monday. That's the first day of spring. It'll actually feel like it. A chance of showers and non severe storms again Monday night into early Tuesday. There could be some stronger storms late next week, but it's a long way down the line. I'm not overly concerned about it at this point. We're just going to keep an eye on it for you and let you know how things evolve. Let's check out the dog walking forecast. She's still awake because we showed her that dog video earlier. You can't see what she's looking at. She's looking directly at the Facebook live video right now. She's checking out herself. She's like she's just a true TV me? dog and narcissist. <laughs> yeah. Temperatures up to about 50 degrees for highs this afternoon. Thanks to those winds out of the southwest and a nice amount of sunshine throughout the day. Good dog day. She's going to keep a watching nurse. herself. <laughs> yeah. I love it. We love Dagny. Oh yeah.